Hello, everyone. What is up? It's Thursday. Get your pain on. My name is Dallas Kemp, studio manager here at Privateer Press. And this is Sorsha. Yeah, Sorsha Bust. Um, and that's super awesome. I'm super excited. And also with uh, Dallas and Sorsha Tay, uh, running the mix and the uh, sound and the video and the overall just control of the board. This is Mr. John Swinkles. Hello, John. Oh, well, hi, Dallas. Well, hello there. Hello, fella. So there we go. Look at that. Source of bust. Um, super awesome. Super Kator. Super secret. And we're going to start painting her right this second. So how's everybody doing today? Oh, I'm a little far away from my miniature. That's what, I, that's what I'm gonna say. She's a little far away. I didn't, I didn't get set quite right, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. What, uh, what colors are we starting off with? So I am taking some Midland Flesh and mixing it with Scorn Red. And I'm doing a kind of blended glaze over the shadowy areas of her face to start working in those skin tones. So you can see I'm working pretty fast because, should I tell them what my goal is? What is Just your goal? Stuff. My goal is to paint this in two episodes of Get Your Paint On. I believe in you. I think you can do it. I mean, I did Borka in one. So now can I do Sorsha in two? And you might be asking yourself, well, why two for Sorsha and one for Borka? And a troll, a troll face can be a little messy and muddy and it still look pretty cool. Um, Human faces need, especially, uh, yeah, human faces just need to look a little better. And so I just wanted to build in that little extra time into the process to uh, do this this uh, challenge. Basically, it's kind of like a challenge. It's not really speed painting, but it's kind of like just a challenge. Like, like can can I do this in two, two one-hour sessions? Where are people going to be able to get that bust? Oh, is that what we want to talk about? Yeah, when are, um, when are they going to be able to get that? I'm going to go ahead and say two weeks from now, um, there's this little show you might have heard of called Adepticon. I think I have heard of that Have one. you heard of that one? I think so. It's in Chicago. and uh, I thought it was in Schaumburg. Schwambog. Is it, is it in Schwambog? Schwamburg? Schwamb I don't know how to say it. Schomburg. Hmm. And uh, it's, uh, so we're going to be at Adepticon. Privateer Press will be at Adepticon. And Sorsha will be available there. The fourth addition to the Privateer Press uh, bus line. And uh, so Joey Epps says he's always been terrible at getting Kate or Red to show up so, so rich and vibrant. Any tips? Watch the next two paint streams is what you're going to see because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it live on air. Um, the biggest thing is what we what we do. If you have the Kador Forces of book, uh, which is the Mark II Kador book, um, the recipe has gone over in fantastic detail there. Really good detail on that one, yeah. And it's basically you're just going to highlight the heck out of your red, and then we're going to use glazes. And uh, glaze is a red ink to um, to create that rich, vibrant Kador look. Multiple thin layers. D uh, I'm going to tell you right now, studio level Kador is painted with 10 to 12 layers of red ink. Um, it's, it's mixed down to about a 15 to 1 ink water ratio. And we just glaze the heck out of it. Um, the reason being is... Uh, P3 inks are very 
very highly pigmented. So you get that super bright, just sharp, intense colors out of them. And that's how you get that Kador red. I feel like I'm spending a little too much time right here. It, I don't know that that's true. I think it's starting to look really good already. So that's my score in red. Now I'm going to switch over. I'm going to grab some Battle Dress Green. And uh, so also, um, as you can see, I, there, there's a base coat of red on here, and there was a base coat of flesh. Um, I did use my airbrush, and I just kind of laid down a quick layer of Kator Red base over top of my uh, black primer, and I laid down a quick layer of Midland flesh over the face. You can see the overspray on the hat and hair. And of course, that'll all get cleaned up here as we paint our bust. Uh, Baldur Dad says, oh, that's kind of pretty. And I'm going to say, I agree. I think it's an awesome little bust. Um, John, have, have you have you done one of our busts yet? Uh, no, I have uh, the, the three previous ones sitting on my shelf staring at me like you are a failure. You need to just sit here and paint. Just paint them. Just paint right? them up. Just paint them up. Just paint them up. Like I like I'll like I'll like pick up like the Nemo one and be like, All right, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go paint Nemo today, and then he just stares at me. He's just like, telling me about all my inadequacies. As a painter. Well, Nemo definitely. Uh, I really love the Nemo bus because he definitely has that like look of that man has made some judgments about your character, and I think that's a really fun uh, bust. I think. I mean, I personally, of course, you know, I think all the busts have a unique uh, look to them, and they're all kind of awesome in their own ways. Mm -hmm. um, I honestly can't pick a favorite, like, at all. Can can I? That's the question. Can I pick a favorite? Because Kador, I'm a little partial to... Sorsha, that also goes back to nostalgia to some She extent. is my second favorite warcaster. So, and we don't have a bust of my favorite. Who's your favorite? Haley. Mark do 1 Haley, Haley from bust. back in the day. You know what you could do? What I love. By the statue? By the by the Haley statue. Already did. And yeah. repaint it. But it's actually painted fairly but, decently. But you can like, repaint I really it. like it. You can repaint it. I, I could, or it could just be a dope thing that's on my desk at home. Like, I have considered many times repainting my Haley statue in my Signar colors. Which is more yellow and black. Von Heilger says, uh, or sorry, the Dragon Pup said, will there be a painting tutorial video about shading flesh for a bust? He's doing it right now. I'm doing now, it right dog. now. I'm so literally doing it right next now. Week. Um... So the idea on the bust is you don't need as much of the tiny or the super contrast. You can get away with um, mo blends, yeah, subtle blends, more subtle blends. So I'm definitely working that uh, to my advantage here uh, for speed. So I'm just kind of very quickly putting in some shadows and just think about where light falls and looking at how the light just is naturally falling. Um, when you're painting a miniature, when you're painting a standard 28 millimeter miniature, you kind of have to exaggerate where light falls because light's kind of mm -hmm. working a little bit different at that scale. Whereas a bust, um, you're getting up to a size where light is actually affecting it kind of the same way yeah. it uh, affects all objects. So you can really use that to your advantage and look at how the light falls on the cheekbones across the nose across the uh, bridge and the eyebrow and stuff like that and use that to your advantage. Oh, absolutely. There's enough surface area that you can actually, you know, like play with it too. Yeah, you can really get in there and just have a good time. And this is speed ish. ish. So, this is not going to be studio level. This is not going to be competition level. Um this is going to be just a fun little bust for uh So the question I have, what are, what are, if it, if it's just for fun, Right. What are we doing with it? What are we going to do with it when, when we're done with it? Uh, well, I said two weeks from now I'm going to be at Adepticon, right? Yeah. I'm giving this bust away. At Adepticon? At Adepticon. Oh, snappy cakes. 
Oh, Snappy Cakes. Oh, Snappy Cakes. I think we should brand that. PP Snappy Cakes? Yeah. PP Snappy Cakes. I'm really having to work around the camera today, so <laughs> I'm just going to be at a really weird angle. So, yes, for all of you that will be at Adepticon, and you should go if you aren't planning to already, it's a dope show that you'll have a ton of fun at. Dallas is going to give this bust away. Yep. This is, I'm giving this away, so it'll be... It'll be signed and done, and you could take it home. Mm -hmm. I hope I hope that's cool. Like, all is that you, cool? That's very cool. All, and all they have to do is come hang out with you and paint for a while, and they'll get uh, entered, and uh, you'll draw a random name at the uh, at the end. Boom! Uh, Easy. Yeah. Alec asks, uh, "Does she have any scars on her face from battles? If not, have you thought about adding one?" I have not thought about adding one. Um. Sorsha does not have scars because Sorsha is so badass she never gets scars. I just made that up. I just I she just, has one on her thumb from testing the edge of her blade. Yeah, she's just like, like like my thumb. Mm -hmm. See, like my thumb testing the edge of that hobby knife. Seth Conrad has uh, had also asked a little earlier if uh, if you're planning on doing any frost effects on the bust, like maybe something at the top part of her hat or something. Uh, I haven't thought about that edges either. Of the, edges of the armor. I'm not maybe. saying it's a bad idea. Um, I just hadn't thought about it. She doesn't. I don't feel like she really. You know what she's going to get? Frosty blue eyes. Dope. She's going to get some sweet baby blues. Uh, Devonian asks, when will the drawing be? Because uh, many people have to leave before the painting awards due to long drives. I'm thinking end of day Saturday. Um, I'm going to, I don't know. Uh, that's a, that's a, uh, but that'll ultimately be up to JR. JR question. Yeah. So, whoops. So a few more details will be coming soon. Uh, but JR and Dallas will have all the details at the beginning of Adepticon. Yeah. Feel free to ask. We'll, we will work that out and we'll have the details ready for you. Um, and we'll, we'll make it fair for everybody. What we'll, you know, it's not going to be like, oh, you have to be there Saturday after midnight or Sunday after midnight. Uh, it'll be, you know, we'll do, we'll do it. We got, we got you, fam. We got you. All right, let's put some. <laughs> Legionnaire says Snappy Cakes is the name of the labor jack for the Caspian Bakery because someone has to bake bread for the army. That's actually pretty funny. So he has to make it snappy. <laughs> snappy Cakes a labor jack. I love Asin it. Asin Boy Wonder says only Scar is in her heart. Oh, that's so true. Right. Oh, Vlad. She wants to know what love is. <laughs> she wants Vlad to show her. Legionnaire says, blood magic makes the skin smooth. Remove all those unsightly blemishes. blemishes. Blood magic. Available at a store near you. Whoa, Sorcerer doesn't use blood magic. No, but that's not to say that someone doesn't like, you know, like her aesthetician isn't a blood magician. Like she just goes to see the she, old witch. Yeah, or you know, like some, like... or something like Greylord, or maybe, uh, 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 oh, my brain is dying right now. I kind of like the old witch being like, she like goes and she's like, Granny Witch. <laughs> I've got acne pits. And she's just like, hang on, honey. And she like conjures pulls a, up like pulls group. a random Grimkin out of her out of her out of her Yeah. Like wonderful scrapjack and applies evenly to the forehead. Just apply Gremlin to forehead to remove all acne scars. And you too could have the perfectly smooth uh ice queen complexion. Girls' night out with Zerkova. Yes, Balderdash. That's what it is. Uh, Zerkova has that has that has that magic. Zerkova. That's totally true. Zerkova. She just hangs like... out with Grey Lords, right? Mike Longo says, "Dallas, I'm painting with you again at Adepticon." Uh, Mike, I'm going to say you better because everybody better because I'm going to paint with everybody. That's just fact. Dallas, can you spoil the Crucible? guard paint scheme yet is that chic 
It says re reb one one zero, but I'm betting it's Chick just trying to be a troll. That sounds like Chick being a troll. I know the Crucible Guard color scheme, and I know when we're going to spoil it. I know, I know we were going to spoil something else today, but that's not it. There is something else getting spoiled today. That's true. <sighs> It'll come I can't out. remember what it was, though. I feel like we had a plan. We did have a plan. I wish I could remember it. Does anybody remember our plan? <laughs> Sarah Jane Chu says, I would not go up for, or I wouldn't go for a night out with Zerkova. I would in a minute. Alec asks if you're already planning out your songs for karaoke. I don't need to plan songs for karaoke. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Decepticats says, can you spoil when you're going to spoil the CG scheme? No. <laughs> Man, everybody wants to see that crucible of color scheme. I, I don't think anybody, I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen such excitement for uh, army color schemes. It's awesome. Don't don't get me wrong. And it is that's supposed to be social one, right? Uh, two. Two. Social okay. Two. Oh yeah, the the way the coat is with the armor. It's, yeah. Okay. yeah, it's yep. this. Yep. Identifies it as uh, Sorsha Edus. Man, I feel like I'm going really slow. Not really. It's We're only 20 minutes in, and you've got, like, all the base layers on her face pretty much ready. I mean, her face is going to have to just be done if I need to, if, if I'm going to finish this. Well, I can see it better on camera than I can by looking across the room, yeah. and on camera, it's starting to look pretty good. Like, That's maybe, like, a point. touch of shade and highlight with the eyes and done. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, once the eyes get in there, it's going to be much more noticeable. Like I said, these are not perfect blends. So, whoever wins this, don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> Anthony Newman says uh, the uh, hype train for Crucible Guard is literally off the rails. Literally. It is literally railless. A railless. Yes. All right, let's have some fun with these lips. I'm going to use some scorn red. I'm going to just, I don't want them super red, but I just want to put that little bit of life in there like that. Joey Epp says any version of the butcher is cooler than Sorsha 2. Wrong. Uh, the butcher's man. dope, but Sorsha is way cooler, literally and figuratively. I mean, you're wrong. She's cold as ice. She's willing to sacrifice. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Sarah Jane and Moose Machine Maelstrom were both literally like, but is she willing to sacrifice? And then you did it, and they loved it. Of course. Sorry, I'm a little... I got a little... You gotta get I'm a little zoned out right here. Hyper-focus. I got a camera in my face... L literally in your face like, literally like in it my is face. embedding into your cheek because of how you're having to lean in there like i kind of wish they could see what i'm doing because it's pretty uh it's pretty intense all right i'm going to take some Tamar black and kind of start blacking up Oop. let's get rid of that Bloop. that's a feature that was purposeful Whoop, whoop, new bust. Whoop, whoop, new bust. Trust me, I, I love this thing. God, 
Man, that camera is right in my face. Okay, let's blacken in some of this hair as we wait for... So what I did there on those eyes is I used uh, some Thamar Black mixed with the, bay, or the shadow color, which is a mix of uh, Battle Dress Green and Scorn Red. And I made like a really thin wash to kind of just wash down in there uh, to blacken eyes so I can paint them white here in a moment. I gotta let that dry. That gives me time to do these other parts and start blackening in some of these other areas. Decepticats, you did, you did, I don't know what you won, but you did win because Decepticats said she's adorable. She is adorable. All right, just gonna blacken in that hair. I don't need to worry about the edges. I know I keep getting quiet too, but that's because I'm actually kind of mem mesmerized watching watching this happen. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's amazing how just black, you know, just some blacking in some stuff and blocking out kind of pushes the rest of that color into the side and lets you see what you did. I want to push this camera to the side. Whose idea was it to put this camera here? Sorry, guys. I just bumped it. My face is literally on top of it. I know this is probably a weird angle. You can't see a whole heck of a lot. So for those that might just be joining us, this is the new, <clears throat> excuse me, one sec. Get it out. There we go. Much better. Uh, this is the new Sorcia bus that will be available at Adepticon in about two weeks. So if you can get to Schaumburg, Illinois, you can get you a sweet, sweet Sorcia bus. If you can't get to Schaumburg, Illinois, shame on you. But you'll be able to get it online while the show is going on at store.privateerpress.com. And these are limited, correct? They are very limited. Yeah. I think I think we only made 500 of them? I think 500, yeah. Yeah, so not so many of them. Right. D four G Jarek asked if there was any chance we could see a shot of the setup for uh, our streaming setup. I will take a production still later and uh, post that on Facebook. No, it's pr proprietary. Proprietary. No one's gonna copy us, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is chaos. Quick question, Dallas. What side is her mole on? What? The mole that she has on. Uh, on she has head. a mole on her on her right side. Nailed it. Oh, thanks, Hungryford. Said uh, Hungryford says that uh, Source's face is on fleek. Thanks, fam. I need a little drink of coffee. I, I'm not gonna lie. I still don't know what fleek means. I don't know either. I, I just say no it. No freaking clue. Like even from the con context, like it's it's on point. I, I don't know. I think it's on point. Like I'm old. Um, I love using um, I love using slang words that are popular right now. In the inaccurately. Part of inaccurately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like um, like I I'll, I'll wake up my son and I'll be like, Yo, dog, wake up! This day is bay. And he just looks at me like, oh, God, just stop it. <laughs> but isn't it a dad's responsibility to find every avenue possible for embarrassing one's oh, son? 100%. And he's really hard to embarrass, so that's a problem. All right, let's see if I can do these eyes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
pressure's on. The pressure's on. I don't think my black is dark enough. Maybe it is. I'm just going to slowly work those in. Just take my time. I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to use really thin mm -hmm. paints. Kind of messed that up. It's all right. I'll fix it. In, uh, fix it in post, Tony. Tony's not here. You only get me. We're all going to die. Valancourt just said, I highly recommend watching this stream. The payoff is huge. Makes me think that we're forgetting to show people something. Eh, it'll come to me. <sighs> We talked about something, but I don't remember what the heck it was. Uh, David Patton asked, did you airbrush any of this? A uh, little bit. The armor and the face, the, just the uh, base coat. Very simple base coat. Just, just a simple base coat just to get me going for the paint stream. Whew, here we go. Let's put a mole on there. Valancourt also says, spoiler alert, it's not a boat. That is accurate. That is not a boat. Yeah, I don't remember anything. Sorry, about Pagani. Any boats. Yeah. We have no boats for you today. No boats for you today. I don't know what that was. Just... I, I have no idea, but I am posting a picture I just took of you on Twitter. I felt like I should be standing in front of like a face. like a fishmonger. Right. Like stand. Fish for you, but no, no boats. Fish for you today. Uh, somebody asked if I could choose the next bust. Who says I don't? <laughs> or at least have some, some right? say. Some part. Pagani's like, I thought it was a boat. You're wrong, Pagani. We have no boats for you today, no boats for you today. That's my song I sing today. Sorry, I got transfixed again. The pressure's on. All right, I'm going to leave those eyes alone for a little bit as I move to the next step. Sanguine base. Okay, so people who are wanting to see the camera literally in his face can see that now at, uh, at Privateer Press on Twitter. Done. Uh, can uh, Hungerford ask, can the next bust be a boat? <laughs> Or Chuck Dogwood riding a boat. <laughs> I, I want to Chuck Dogwood I want so Chuck. bad now. Uh, Chuck Dogwood. It's amazing. Okay, so this uh, red was airbrushed. It's just Kator red base over top of black primer. Uh, but now I'm going to paint it. Do it. Because it needs to be painted. Sarah Jane says, I would 11 out of 10 buy a Makeda bust. That could be cool. Makeda could be yeah, cool. That could be dope. I, I definitely have a list of busts that I think would be super rad to make. I mean, like, so with your hand, like, when it was over her, mm -hmm. like, while you were trying to, you know, get some of the shading in there, mm -hmm. like, the, the shadows created over her face really made the eyes stand out. That was kind of dope. Yeah, I mean, those eyes are really bright right now. They're going to be toned down, of course. But right now, I got to keep moving, and we'll come back to those eyes. Chris Sewer says, uh, Abby, two bust. 
that could be cool too. Yeah, Abby could be a really cool bust. I would agree with that. I think Abby would be a really nice character addition to the bust line. What is, what is your mix there? Are you just doing more score in red or? No, this is Sanguine Base. Ah, okay. This is just Sanguine Base. This is just Sanguine Base. And this is going right over top of the Kato Red. That's kind of just uh <laughs> Marg is like Magnus, Magnus bust. Magnus could be a cool boss. He's got such a good face too, right? He's mm -hmm. got that like lots of character. He's got an eye patch. Which is Who's dope. who sculpted this bust? Oh man, uh I think this was Javier. Gosh, I can't remember. We'll we'll have to go look it up. Because I don't remember off the top of my head if it was Javier or uh, Nate. It was not Nate. No? Okay. Nate, Nate did do the, the ship for Source, or for Scar 3, though. Nate Brooks did, yes. We got, we got Nates like we got Wills. I'm going to say like Wills, I mean like an infestation. Javier did the bust and Nathan revised it, says Marco. There you go. That's right. Uh, Javier did the bust and Nathan Lombardi did the uh, some engineering on it. Because that's teamwork. All right. Just really broad idea shadows here on this red. I always get worried that I'm going to butcher uh, Javier's last name. Is it Urania? I think so. I've never said it out loud. I just type it. All right. I'm just going to kind of. Oh, Marco just typed it out in chat over on Facebook, too. Look, God, 84, looking great, Dallas. Thank you. I'm pretty. Oh, you're talking about the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. I could have sworn there was something else we were going to show people today. Uh, yes. Try T Marg. Her eye is not done painted. That's what's wrong. It's just hmm. I'm waiting for it to dry, bucko. Good gravy. You know what will help me remember? Shameless plug. Share this video. Art is a process. Share mm -hmm. this video. Mm -hmm. Share with your friends. Share this video. Because there is going to be something pretty dope at the end of this stream. You know what I, I can just, just remembered? remember what it is. What? What? Did you remember? I just remembered what we're sharing. Oh? Mm -hmm. Cool. I just remembered that. Uh, so unrelated to that, Devonian was, who is all making the trip to Chicago from the Privateer Press team? You will have uh, literally all of Dev, so you'll have three Wills to choose from. You'll have uh, William Oz Schoonover, William Hungerford, and Will Pagani. Uh, you will have um, the incomparable Matt Getz. Oh, Getz. Matt. Which is amazing, because that makes me think there will be some kind of narrative awesomeness going on, because anywhere he goes... Uh, the world gets realer. Uh, Everywhere he goes, a story follows. Who else? Pagani. I bet JR is going to be there. JR. That seems like a thing JR would go to. There's somebody else. Who is it? Hmm. Mr. Dallas Camp. That's me. It's you. I'm a going. I have a, a game set up with James Craig, who I think was in this. In here earlier? Uh, he, it, yeah, I think so. He was either here in here earlier or uh, yesterday. He challenged me mm -hmm. to a game of Company of Iron. And the smack talk around that has started to get real serious. 
Uh, Matthew Bunting says, uh, Green Lantern is the best superhero, and you guys are knocking it out of the park on these streams. Well, thank you, Matthew. What? <laughs> what does Ryan Reynolds have to do with anything? Not the Ryan Reynolds one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't speak of that. Darth Vane says he's been waiting for this since the bust came out. And I'm going to say... Me too. Yep. <laughs> Me too. Matthew Bunting says that is accurate. <laughs> All right, a little bit of there. Let's put a little subtle bit of shadow right here. Just I think I've gone through up. two bottles of Sanguine Base since I started here. Like just working on just various of my own models. Oh, there's a hair. It's a lot of work done. The hair's a feature. I just realized what time it was. We've been going for about 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I this think... That's like the I hardest think, thing I've ever done. Right. We're, we're going to keep going for another at least 20 minutes, which is fine. I and then I blue. think you're probably going to be allowed if you want to do some stuff off camera, like some touch-ups and whatnots, so that we're ready for next week as well. Uh, yeah, because there are some things like the eye. I cannot get around this camera. Um, mm -hmm, we might mm -hmm. do a little I, I was watching you try, and I was like, mm, I can't make him do that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little tough because the camera rig set up. Like, I mean, we can move the camera the hell away from my face, and you just got you guys won't be able to see me paint it, but you'll just be able to watch me paint it. I'm willing to do that, eh. um, or I can just touch it up off off screen. Um, I'm gonna leave that up to chat. Take your pick, kind of. Uh, no, I think I, th I think Plan A is still the best one. Yeah, Plan A is best because then you can really focus on the eyes, but you can also take some shots while you're working on it. We can share them on Twitter. Yeah, we. We will definitely do that. How's then, that sound? When they rejoin us next week, you can also talk about stuff and then move on to the next parts. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, I want somebody's going, somebody's going to win this, and I want right. the eyes to look really good. So, yeah, I hope, because I hope that makes sense for everybody. Exactly. So I'm putting Exile Blue mixed with uh, Sanguine Base, and this is my final Exile shade. Exile Blue, okay. Yep. The best color in the Privateer Press paint line. And just, this is my deepest shadows. And just really punching down that darkness. I say hi to the darkness. Say hello to the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Just like that. <laughs> D4G Jarek says you pronounced Cole Black wrong, but uh, no, I did not. Hello. That's pretty good, actually. Cole That's Black is good. an amazing color and gets a lot of work done, but Exile Blue is still hands down my favorite color in the P3 range. It has some serious competition with Cold Black and uh, now Deathless Metal, especially for me. But but I mean, Deathless Exile Metal. Blue is still winning. I can mix that color with I think everything. Like if I only had to paint a, if I had to paint a miniature with only three paints, I would need Menoth White Highlight, Exile Blue, and Deathless mm, Metal. Mm, no, gonna, something a little warmer. I'm gonna need Thamar Black. Something a little warmer. Well, if I can have, if I could guarantee to have Thamar Black and Menoth White highlight, Mar and White three, and Thamar and Black then, never count. You get those for free. Okay, yeah. so if I get Mar White and and Thamar Black for free, then it is Boggin Brown, oh, yeah, Exile that's a really Blue, good color. and then for my warm colors, Sanguine Base. You know, um, or maybe Kador Highlight. There's some Kador colors out there that I think kind of get overlooked. Uh, Rucksack Tan. Is such a mm, good color. That's a really good middle color too that you can shade up or down. Mm, that's such a good color. I really like that color. Um, and I use it for a surprising amount of things. All right, I want to get the let's uh, get the final 
shade on our blue or our blue I'm using blue uh, so secret tech shade your red with blue what what that's just uh, that's just art tech So, Mr. Diaz, uh, we had done that. That He asked if you can do another bus challenge where you paint it in one sitting. Um, we had done that with the Borka bust, which was dope and was cool. And it was fun to to like give that model away at the end of the stream. This one we're putting a little bit more detail into because it, when we give something away, we want it to be as dope as possible. Mm -hmm. And we don't want Dallas to fall into a weird anxiety complex. So we're giving him more time with this one. I'm, I'm really having We're giving him two today. streams. This is anxiety. Yep. That is accurate. It was very stressful. Very stressful. Very, very stressful. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna get this shade on here. <laughs> Mr. Sergio says, "Can you guys tell me when a bust of Chromac will be available, just to help me save money until it's time?" Uh, nothing on the schedule yet, but a Chromac bust would actually be freaking dope. Like, I would actually put that pretty high on my wish That'd list. That'd be a big-ass bust. It'd be huge, but at the same time, like, like those details and stuff would be a lot of fun to paint in a larger scale. Like, have scale. you seen that man's headdress? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, in a, in, a, in a, you know, in the scale that we do the busts in, that would be fun as hell to paint. Like, Chromax headdress would be as big as this Sorcia bust. Legit, yeah. Charles Trahan said it would be huge. That is true. Accurate. All right, I forgot shading on this little sub panel here. Ooh, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Raven kind of kind of highlighted what we were talking about earlier, and he would love to see a painting challenge with a limited color palette. I would do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that's already underway. Well, there we go. Boom. And you'll see that soon. Still not today's spoiler, though. Not today's spoiler. Oh, my God, we're close to today's spoiler, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going to have to remember what it is. Does anybody remember what our spoiler was for today? Mm, it'll come to me. Don't worry about it. There's somebody outside the door that knows. Is there someone outside the door that knows? Mm -hmm. I can't see because of the blinds. All right. I think that that is pretty much the shading on... The... Missing Task says, is this a new bust? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Just tuned in, but my girlfriend will go nuts for a Sorcia bust. Yes, it is, and you can get it at Adepticon or store.privateer press during Adepticon. Yep, go to the website. Pick up a, uh, pick up a Sorcia bust. Paint it up. And um, there's a... I have a uh, Privateer press bust painting group on facebook so you can share your bust and hopefully share your source of bust when you're painting it or when it's done seth conrad wants a chuck dogwood iron kingdom quest uh talk to gets chuck dogwood doug c cat says doing a non-transformed chromac bust would be quite cool uh i've always liked the somewhat introspective look on him in his form as chieftain rather than beast oh i like that actually a lot god man that camera is right up all up in your grill and not the good kind of grill like like barbecue grill as a matter of fact that's the last place i went a camera is inside my barbecue grill, but whatever. All right, like I said, this is not perfect, kids. It's starting to come together, though. It's not bad for an hour. Well, 46 minutes so far. 46 minutes. Mm -hmm. I need another drink. Coffee, sorry. Way to, way to enhance the foliage of to, drinking coffee. The fullness of the blackness that is my coffee <laughs> had to be expressed through the microphone so everybody could share the joy of it. Okay, so where the model is right now with it leaning back like that and the light hitting it was dope. Oh, yeah. Look at her. She like, looks like she's like... That was dope. 
She's just like, this battle shall be won. Glorious. Pancreas. Wait, what? Helios. Uh, all right, I, I'm i feeling really good about this where it's at. Um, not bad for an hour. Um, definitely, I'm going to need that hour next week on Get Your Paint On. We, st we still got 13 minutes, dog. Oh, we still got 13 minutes? Yeah. All right. Or are you trying to get to the, get to the big reveal? Maybe I'm trying to just get to the big spoiler. Do you want to just get to the big reveal? I, I mean, think we'll work on it. Let me see if I can remember it. Go ahead and keep doing some touch-ups. All right, I'm going to keep doing this. You try to. I remembered, but I can't say what it is because then it's not a reveal. So I, you I, have to remember what it is. I, I remembered what it is too. Do you remember? I do. Yeah, okay. it's dope. I think people are going to lose their goddamn minds. Hey kids, you're out there and you're watching. You're watching. Get your paint on. Get your paint on is pretty dope. Throw me some likes and some shares if you think get your paint on is dope. But also, if you're ready for our spoiler. Let me know right now. Let me know while I paint this. Hashtag I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, I'm actually, I'm just becoming impatient. That's all right. I missed the shadow back here. This needs to be brought up a little bit. Everybody is saying they're ready. So I, f I feel like the person that's waiting outside will need to come in because I think uh, I think we're gonna need him after after we show this. Mm -hmm. John, roll it. All right. Give me one second.
Ashley. John, I think I just wet myself a little bit. A little bit. I know there were a couple of audio issues just with the streaming of the video, but that will be up on YouTube very shortly, and so you can check it out in all its glory and without the audio drops. Maximum carnage. Because apparently Twitch and Facebook hate me. Maximum destruction. So good. What's that? What you got there? Oh, hello. So we're back on Get Your Paint On, and I am joined with two new guests, Mr. Defender X. Mellow. And the <laughs> studio painter who painted Mr. Defender X, Mr. Jordan Lamb. Hello, Jordan. Hello, everybody. See, look at that. He said hello, everybody. Hello. So, um, yeah, this model is a d -d 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 dope. This is a fantastic model. I, I agree. Um, and you painted him up. I did. And you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Um, what was your favorite part of painting him? Was it the blue, the, gl the little blue glow, the little blue here? Uh, definitely the orange. The orange. That orange is rad. What What is that orange? That's not Cator Red Highlight at all, is it? No. no. So can you tell me how, how did you achieve this uh vibrant poppy orange let me get him let, let me get him a little bit better in focus so so that orange oh. is actually a new color <gasps> what? You got a gasp called inferno orange inferno yeah orange. definitely gonna punch you in the face with how awesome this color is he is definitely gonna punch you in the face with some orange he's just gonna go rocket fist rocket fist I can't help but make robot pew pew noises when I'm playing with robots. Um, Hold up the search of bus next to him real quick, just so people can get a quick idea of size there. So, yeah, just so you can understand the size of him. Uh, Mr. Defender X is rocking in about 85 millimeters or so, somewhere around there. Um. He's a he's a he's a big guy. There's a P3 paint pot for scale. I forgot my banana downstairs at my desk. <laughs> um, so a little bit bigger than a juggernaut, about the same size as a behemoth. Somewhere in that uh, ballpark. Bob Hoffner asked, um, "Is it pre-painted? Like, did you just watch the video? It shows us painting it. This mm -hmm. is a collectible, not, not collectible. collectible. Yeah. This is a this is a this is a miniature game. Yep." This is resin. All better, enhanced, way better sculpts. Freaking amazing models. Like, I cannot wait to get my hands on these. So, Jordan, you you did Defender X, and people are going to see some of the other stuff that you painted as well. But I know there were a couple of, a couple of little guys that you worked on as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, we were working on the, the guard tanks, the G tanks as we call them. Mm -hmm. Yep, some of those are in the video. Yep, and then the repair truck as well is a small little repair truck for all the big guys you got word yep what you saw in the video so yep um ian yes uh it'll be up on youtube as soon as we're done here uh yep so basically i'll have to skitter over to my desk here in a little bit and uh, hit all the buttons to make some things go live uh there will be an insider on privateerpress.com so you can get a few more details as far as you know like timelines and mm -hmm. things like that and the what's and the why's and the how's um but yeah no Monster Apocalypse. It's coming back fall Montauk, of this year. Punching out robots, giant As monsters. a hobby miniatures game. And hobby that miniatures. is so dope. I already got my color scheme picked out for my guard army. Yeah, it's been so hard to be to be quiet while like there's been like some play testing and stuff going on mm -hmm. and sculpting and mm -hmm. like be, not being able to say anything mm -hmm. was driving me insane. Yep. Yep. But that's all right. It's out in the world, gentlemen. Welcome aboard. The hype train is real. Yeah, so get to get an idea of scale of the game, scale of the models, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, Insider will be up on privateerpress.com here in roughly 10 minutes. Yeah, more information coming. Welcome. And you finally got a sneak preview of a new color. Got a new color? Also coming fall this year, I believe. Maybe sooner, but probably fall. Maybe sooner. Ba boom boom. Ba-bum-bum, monster apocalypse, coming back, 
to the world with a punchy robot. Hello, Sorsha, you're <laughs> tiny compared to me, even though your scale is really huge, whatever. <laughs> this thing so, is huge. Privateerpress.com, that insider will be up shortly. YouTube to watch the uh, the reveal announcement uh, trailer, which will also you know not have the audio jumps because streaming hates me, apparently. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's it for the moment, but all kinds of more information will be coming out soon. And if you want to get that Sorsha bust, go to Adepticon. If you can't make it to Schaumburg, Illinois, once again, boo. But if you can't, store.privateerpress.com. You will be able to buy the Sorsha bust while the show is going on. Absolutely. And remember, uh, every Tuesday is... Weekly Rumble. Weekly Rumble. Every Wednesday is... Dev Hangout. Dev Hangout, where you can uh, talk to the Wills and ask them about all the special rules of all your favorite games. Mm -hmm. And every Thursday, of course, is Get Your Paint On with yep. me, uh, your host, Dallas. And uh, I guess I'm, uh, I'm, whew, gentlemen, I'm exhausted. That was way more hype than I could handle. Yeah, so what are we going to be uh, taking care of next week on that bus? So next week, we're going to uh, paint the hair, paint the jacket, and finish the armor, and then it'll be ready to go. That's what it is. So, uh, Hunger Food is correct. Monstrous hype. Monstrous hype. In fact, there might even be a new website and whatnot for it. The most amount of hype you can have. The most amount of the hype. The most hype you could have. Alrighty, folks. Well, as we wrap up for today, as Dallas said, don't forget to join us next week for more Weekly Rumble, more Dev Hangouts, and more Get Your Paint on 10 a.m. every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yep. And every Friday, P3 Presents goes live with another paint tutorial to YouTubes. Except for there might be something else special tomorrow, but we'll get to that later. Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't oh, know about that. this. Oh, well, you know, it's a thing. Oh, more hype. I guess we'll just keep talking about hype.